Hi there, welcome back. Now, despite being off our screens for most of this year, Cheryl Cole remains one of the country's most stylish uh, women that everybody's interest is in. She's kept a very low profile since leaving uh, American X Factor, but decided to give her first TV interview to our Mark Hayes, who caught up with Cheryl to talk about working in Hollywood, her plans for Christmas, and, of course, her new shoe range. Well, Cheryl, you're looking gorgeous. Thank so lovely you. to see you, and... You are now designing shoes. Is this the dream job? Is this what it's all about? 100% the dream job. I've called the shoes individual names because I wanted to give them character and personality and just have a bit of fun with it. So I have some shoes called Biker Groove, which yeah. I did, again, it was, a, it was a nod to home. Which is your favourite of all of them? What do you think? I love the Ray Ray boot. Ray Ray? Is that for Rihanna? Yes. OK. Because I thought they were a bit sexy and a bit sassy. They are. And I could see Rihanna wearing those. Have you got one pair of shoes that is like your fail-safe pair of shoes? Yeah, a, a plain black biker boot. Sure. And you can always put them on because they look good whether you wear like a pair of tights or a pair of leggings or jeans. You can wear them with anything and they're comfortable. Do you think you might be taking this further? Do you think we might be seeing possibly a fashion collection? I mean, honestly, I've thoroughly enjoyed myself doing the shoes and I want to stick with this for, for the moment. Yeah. But the amount that I've enjoyed, the creativity, and it wasn't as half as stressful as I was anticipating. I would yeah. never rule it out. Do you think there's a difference in a kind of north-south divide as well, as far as like fashion Absolutely. goes? Absolutely. I know from Glasgow, I can see a massive difference in yeah, London. Do you definitely. find it the same in Newcastle? 100%. Yeah. But again, I love it. People seem to make a bit more of an effort, I always find up north. That's and in, what I like. And in Liverpool, too. Yeah. I mean, Newcastle, yeah, absolutely. And in Liverpool, those girls go all in. Oh, I know. They I don't know. mess around up there. We're talking rollers in the hair during we a Saturday are afternoon. We're talking full on glamour. <laughs> are girls starting to wear coats as well off in Newcastle? No, they are, aren't they? It's all right, isn't it? Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a wee bit more. You are a true style icon, um, but how do you kind of, you know, gauge it? Do you follow fashion? Do you look at what's happening in Paris and then decide, okay, that's a trend I want to go for? Or do you not really care? I definitely look sometimes and think, no, I don't like it. Or I look at a trend and think, well, that's not going to work for me personally. Mm. Um, but I think naturally you tap into certain things that are happening because you're enjoying what's going on in the moment. But I'm not a, I'm not a follower. Not many other people could get this, but what is it like to be criticised when you wear something? Okay. I like what I want. No. Else I wouldn't have wore it. No. <laughs> when it comes to videos, is this a time when you can just have fun, go all out fashion? It's like you're taking on a different persona anyway, so you can like dress up and it's like fancy dress in a way. Yeah. And what about Lady Gaga? Do you feel she's kind of pushed it to a limit that you can wear anything now? I oh. think Lady Gaga's took it to, to the extreme mm. and nobody had dared to go there before. I think she's fascinating. Yeah. I mean, I could. I wouldn't, I'm not as brave or as bold as to do some of the things she does myself, but sure. I, I admire her a lot. Now, you're obviously very creative. You've got music, you've got your shoes, also tattoos. And I've gone and heard that you would actually get a full back tattoo. Is this true? I would, I, <laughs> I would like to. Yeah. I wouldn't dare. You've also been doing a bit of acting. You've been doing a cameo. I did a cameo, yes. It's exciting. All right, then. So what is it? What to expect when you're expecting? Yes, that's what the name of the movie is, and yeah. it's based on a book, which is apparently the second best-selling book in the world next to the Bible. What? Yeah, <laughs> and it's a guide on to how to guide women when they're pregnant. My part is literally me being me. J-Lo and Cameron Diaz is in there. They're uh, in the movie, yeah. There's a lot them? of it. Yeah, Cameron Diaz is amazing. Bit of a girl crush. Absolutely. Yeah, totally. It's got to be done. She's, a, she's, gorgeous. A, she's gorgeous. Um, her fashion, we like her. It's quite. It, that's quite. It's quite kind of U.S. girl, isn't it? Yeah, she's very just. She's just chill. She's yeah. just. She's just so at ease with herself. No, um, we are coming up to Christmas. Yeah. Have you started the Christmas shopping yet? I'm about to. I'm about to. I'm not going to do the headless chicken Christmas Eve thing ever again. I promised no. myself that last year. That's fair news. Just give them more shoes. It's all right. Exactly. <laughs> Not an issue. Uh, stylist pick, <laughs> boxes. Is there three things that you're like, you've got to have for Christmas? No. Nah. Family, <laughs> dinner, dogs. Sounds good. Have a happy Christmas. Thank you, Enjoy. and you. Have a lovely Christmas. <laughs> you are. Oh.